Hello everyone, I am Ronak Patel. In this video, we will see derivative of activation function. Before going to derivative of activation function, first we will see derivative rules, which will help to find out derivative of activation function. So first, derivative of any constant with respect to variable that will give you zero. Then the derivative of that variable with respect to that x means derivative of x with respect to x will give you one. This thing you can derive from the rule of d by dx of function x raised to n is equal to n x raised to n minus 1 right so same way if you find this x raised to 1 then this will be 1 into x raised to 1 minus 1 that will give you 1 next derivative of two functions u and v so how you will find out this derivative so derivative for this sum that will be your individual derivative sum vx right now derivative of two function with multiplication so the multiplication rule that says this derivative will be first function as it is derivative of second function plus second function as it is derivative of first function then the division rule ux upon vx so in this the derivative will be The denominator will be vx square. Here, derivative will be vx d by dx and first function ux minus first function ux derivative of second function. So this is the division rule for derivative. Now let's see some other derivative. d by dx of e raised to x is equal to e raised to x only. Then the derivative of d upon dx a raised to x is equal to a raised to x log a then derivative of dy dx log x is equal to 1 upon x and Another useful derivative there is d by dx log 1 minus x is equal to 1 upon x minus 1. So these are the different derivative rules which help you to find out derivative of extivation function and it also helps in backpropagation algorithm of neural network.
so here i have listed those function or those rules derivative rules so you can refer here as well now we'll see derivative of sigmoid activation function right so the equation of sigmoid activation function is 1 upon 1 plus e to the power minus x this is the sigmoid activation function and this is the graph of that sigmoid activation function you can see here now if i write this thing in another form that is 1 plus 1 up 1 upon e to the power x is equal to 1 upon e to the power x plus 1 upon e to the power x which you can write like this e to the power x upon e to the power x plus 1 so this thing 1 upon 1 plus e to the power minus x you can write like this e to the power x upon e to the power x plus 1 right so now this is your f of x and what we need to find out we want to find out f dash x which is derivative of this function f of x so now how we'll find out the derivative of this function f of x so you can see here this is your ux and this is your vx so the division rule d upon dx derivative with respect to x upon uh, of ux divided by vx so now let's check how we can find out the derivative so the rule of that derivative that is in denominator vx square let's write that thing first your vx is e to the power x plus 1 whole square this is vx square right now here here first term that is your vx what is vx vx is e to the power x plus 1 this is your vx and the derivative d upon dx of ux what is ux ux is e raised to x then minus ux what is ux e to the power x this is your ux and derivative d upon dx of vx vx is e to the power x plus 1 right so this way we have written this still we need to calculate this derivative right now this term as it is e to the power x plus 1 d upon dx e raised to x the derivative is e to the power x minus e to the power x is as it is what is the derivative of e to the power x plus 1 with respect to x this is sum so for this sum what you can calculate you can calculate individual derivative and sum it so for this if i need to write then that is d upon dx e raised to x plus d upon dx 1 right some rule and denominator will be e to the power x plus 1 whole square right so this thing will be e to the power x plus 1 e x minus e raised to x now this thing will be 
the derivative of constant will be zero. So this term will be zero. d upon dx of e raised to x, derivative of e raised to x will be e raised to x only upon e raised to x plus one whole square. Right? So this will be you multiply this e raised to x into e raised to x plus e raised to x minus e raised to x and e raised to x. So ultimately what you will get that is e to the power x upon e to the power x plus one whole square. If I write this in another form, that is e to the power x upon e to the power x plus 1 into 1 upon e to the power x plus 1. This is multiplication of this. So now, this term, you can see this is your f of x you can see e to the power x upon e to the power x plus 1 this is f of x and the second term this second term that is 1 minus f of x right so the derivative f dash x that is equivalent Two, if I need to find out the derivative, then that is f of x into 1 minus f of x. This is for sigmoid activation function. This is for sigmoid activation function. Let's see whether this is correct or not. Right? We'll take some value over here and then find out. Now take the value of x is equal to 8. So in this case, your f of x that is equivalent means your activation function that is equivalent to 1. Why? When x is 8, you can see here the value that is going to be 1. So f of x is equal to 1. Now your f dash x using this equation, if we see f dash x, so f dash x is equal to f of x 1 minus f of x. So that will be, what is f of x? 1, 1 minus 1, that is 0. So your derivative will be 0. Okay, so at this point, let's change the color. At this point, what is derivative? Derivative means slope. So slope at this point, what is slope at this point? The slope is zero and we are also getting zero. So this is the correct thing, right? Similar way, take some another example. Now take the negative value. X is equal to minus eight. In this case, F of X that is equivalent to zero. Right, you can see here that is going to be zero. Your f dash x that is equivalent to f of x into one minus zero. Zero multiplied by one that is zero. Means your derivative of f of x will be zero. Let's see it. So x equal to minus eight means will be here. So now that value is zero. If I find out slope here, then your slope will be zero. So this is also correct thing. Now let's check for this point. Right? Okay. So for that, x is equal to zero. So when x is equal to zero, your f of x
f of x is equal to 0 0.5 so f of x is 0 0.5 so f dash x is equal to 0 0.5 into 1 minus 0 0.5 which is equivalent to 0 0.25 okay so if you find out slope here find a slope here so your height divided by width then what you will get you will get 0 0.25 right so the Derivative that we have calculated for this sigmoid activation function, we have calculated the derivative that is f of x into 1 minus f of x. This way you can calculate it, and this is the derivation of it. And we have validated that thing as well, right? So we have seen in the previous slide. X, uh, derivative of sigmoid that is f of x 1 minus f of x so your f of x is your activation function that is a so you can write it in this form as well similar way you can find out the activation of 10h which is 1 minus a square that is your f of x or you can say g of z right i am using this term f of x same as z of z or you can say a right these are same f of x means function of x z of z means function of z this is activation this is also activation and you can denote this as well like a so 1 minus z of z square right this indicates derivative now for ReLU the function is let's take z of z is equal to max of 0 comma z if it's 0 obviously the derivative will be 0 only if it is z then if you take derivative then that will be 1 so that's why you will get 1 over here for leaky relu d of z is equal to max alpha into z comma z where alpha is 0 0.01 in case of leaky relu if you find out derivative of this when z is less than 0 then at that time the derivative is alpha d upon dz and this is dz which is equivalent to alpha and your alpha in case of liquid relu is 0 0.01 so that's why you will get 0 0.01 similar way for z as we have seen in relu that will be the same case for liquid relu as well so these are the derivative of some of the activation function that is sigmoid 10 h relu and dq relu which you will use in neural network so thank you for watching the video next video we'll see back propagation thank you